What's going on, guys? Blake Albers here with EB Long Care. If you're watching on this replay, I hope everybody's doing good today. What's going on? Blake Alberts in here with BB. I hope the microphone, I gotta wait till people are in here so I can make sure my microphone is up and rolling. Um, I, I give about a minute until we get some people here so I'm not confusing anybody that pops on here. Um, okay, perfect. Cody's on here. What's going on? So I'm gonna talk here for a couple minutes and kind of share with you guys how why I'm talking about this. So give you a little context. I was on, and I'm going to be looking at my screen here for information. So I was looking, and I real quick, I promise you that this whole video is not going to be about YouTube or YouTubers. It just happens that the way this, this guy makes money is from being a YouTuber. So real quick, I saw this on um, Facebook, and Forbes released – their top 10 um, highest earners for 2018 on YouTube. And everybody's freaking out because the top, the number one highest earner in the world is a seven-year-old kid. He unboxes and plays with toys on YouTube. Ryan's Toy Reviews. I, have, I, I heard about him a long time ago. We're talking... Years and years and years. first off, I'm growing the beard out. How do you like it? I heard about Ryan's toy review years ago and I forgot about him just like everybody else. And that motivated the heck out of me because it proves that he has been putting him and his family and parents and things like that have been putting in the work while nobody, I mean, lots of people were watching, but people like me that just saw this Forbes article weren't watching. They were just putting in work, putting in work, putting in work. And he made $22 million in 2018 on YouTube, kids. Unboxing toys. He's seven. That's what he. That's what he's passionate about is toys. Come to us. Same thing with my story. The same thing with all these other landscape guys. I tell the story all the time. I remember the exact yard. It was my buddy's parents' house. They live on some land. And I was doing their landscaping. First off, I didn't make jack on it because I, I'm, a, I'm a young kid and I didn't price it correctly. And I spent way too much time there. Way too much. But I learned what I needed to learn. So um, I'm sitting there and I, I hit my arm on a thorn bush. I'm literally laying down, cleaning out under it and trimming it and stuff like that. And I'm like, all right, I'm calling it a day. It's like, what, 7, 7.30 or whatever, summer night or spring night, I guess. And I go on to Instagram and I see all of these. I mean, this was straight out of high school when everybody's partying it up, um, you know, in college. And uh, I'm sitting there trimming thorn bushes. And I'm like, what in the world am I doing? Why in the world am I? I working like this till seven, eight o'clock at night and everybody else is just drinking, partying with girls and, and having a ball. And, uh, and then, and then I learned like looking back, that is the greatest moment. Like that was a turning point in life because now everybody's graduating college hundred thousand dollars in debt from student loans whatever it doesn't matter i don't care what route you go to be successful it's all about the mindset it's all about the mindset so um yeah and then now you know i got a house i'm married things like that and it's like that was the reason that i was under that thorn bush that day that's the reason I was learning, I was making money, I was hustling, I was growing my business. That that's it. That that is it. So, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, the seven year old. If if you don't feel bad about yourself, um, a seven year old made twenty two million dollars this year. So, yeah. Uh, no, anyways, um, and I want to talk a little bit and then I'll start answering some comments here. One of my favorite 
the the people that I watch and look up to um, is Elon Musk. And I don't really, you know, he's successful. That's great. But the one thing about Elon Musk, he's a terrible talker, terrible speaker. He, he and, and, and it's because, and I learned this a little bit from the, his Joe Rogan interview, that he th- he is so smart that he literally, when somebody asks him a question, he has to think through the answer to make sure that other people can like know what he's talking about. Like if you ever hear him, people will ask him a question and he'll be like, well, um, um, well, and he's just like in his mind, his mind just races in a million ways. So the cool thing about Elon Musk, and he's a total winner mindset, and that's why he's winning. Do you guys realize I need to pull up the statistics? I don't even know how much money he made. Ah, oh, where's my thing at? How how much money he made on uh PayPal? Let's see. Did Elon Musk make was it PayPal? I'm pretty sure. But I, I need to reread that whole story because literally, uh, let's see. Here it is. Here it is. He made 22 million bucks. He put 10 million in that month. He made 22 million bucks. This is Elon Musk. He put $10 million into X.com. Um, then he made $165 million whenever, whenever he sold PayPal. Okay. And put 90 of that 165 into SpaceX. Before it was like even a thing. Like you look and he his whole life since 2000, he has ran right up to not being able to pay his bills. And then he has a big breakthrough and then he'll invest so much. He won't be able to pay his bills. Like literally go, go read his story. It's crazy. Like he believes in himself and his vision and mission more than like, he, you can't even explain it to people. They think him, they think he's crazy. And so I really like that about Elon Musk. Like that guy, is a total winner because he believes it before it even is a thing. Like I was watching it, it this is funny, but I was watching the, uh, the launch. I don't know if it happened today or this week. It said live, but I, I don't know. It was on YouTube and, um, the, the two rockets or the two boosters that go up when you're launching a rocket came down and, landed simultaneously on these platforms like it was all totally planned it worked perfectly and elon musk spacex is the first company to do that like nasa never did that there's just dropped in the ocean and and were wasted he's reusing major expensive pieces of rockets and like can like people thought he was nuts when he says stuff like this. And uh, so do a little research on Elon Musk, a total winner mindset. Like the guy is just, he, he believes himself a lot. So I want to start answering some questions. Make sure you guys hit him up. I'm going to be on here for, and literally this time, I'm not joking, 20 minutes and we're calling it a day, but I just wanted to pop on here. I know people had suggested some more lives and so that's what I'm doing. And I just wanted to give you guys some, a little bit of motivation here today. Um, not only just, just believe in yourself, know it can happen. Like, obviously it can happen. So just do. Like, uh, I feel like people are just scared sometimes and it just totally shuts off the, uh, the brain, man. So, uh, and the will to do. Do a little research on Elon Musk. Do a little research on Ryan's toy review. I know you guys don't want to be YouTubers and stuff, but um, look at it from a different angle of motivation. And uh, that kid will literally never worry about 
money the rest of his life. And I bet he works a lot more than you think. Like I, I somebody probably edits the videos, but like he puts in work, man. So I don't think any of us can shame on that. Uh, yeah, twenty-two million bucks, seven years old, man. Woo! That's crazy. All right, let's see, let's see, let's get into these. Um, working good. Thank you, thank you. What's up? What's up? What's up? You get your fall cleanups done solo cuts. I have not. I'm so. I've just been keeping busy today because I'm so frustrated with the weather. Um, it's it's either been 15 degrees, raining, or snowing ever since we got back from the honeymoon. Literally haven't been able to do one leaf job since the honeymoon. It's snowing. Like, I don't know what else to do. So, looks like we're having a nice day tomorrow and also a nice day a couple nice days next week. So I will be really hustling to get those leaf cleanups done because this weather's starting to really settle in. So that's a little update. I'm, I'm just as angry. I, I'm just angry. I don't know. But let it go. Be positive. Do some other things around the house. Get some things done that I need to get done. Make some videos. Edit. All that great stuff. Find your little passion, dude. A little. I'm all about side hustles. I'm all about side hustles right now. Like, oh, I love it. Because you need to get your side hustle to pay all of your bills. And then your main business, you can just reinvest and reinvest and reinvest. And then your business can grow that much more. But when you're just relying, and this is what I'm working on, man. I'm really trying to work hard on this. Um, and then your if your main business is always getting stuff taken for your bills and things like that it it, it slows way down it and and it just keeps grabbing at it and you can't ever grow and it, you know you know what i mean my my analogies are weird sometimes but if you have a side business that just it just pays all the bills all the bills are gone and your main business just keeps on growing that's that's my philosophy right now i really really like that so um Patrick watches a guy that demos mouse traps. Yeah, dude. Like the internet has just made like you can take your passion and make money and change your life. Like it's crazy. The internet is is beautiful right now, man. Like you can just do anything. Um, you can sell like like you, if you make stuff, if you're a good artist, a good painter, like the internet has opened up a whole nother world for you. You no longer have to go to like little art exhibits. You just open it up to the world and ship it out. Oh my gosh. It's amazing, dude. It side hustle can live on the internet. Like it's, it's beautiful. Brandon, I was just talking to you on messenger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, sleepy. Oh, sleepy bear. You're speaking the truth, sir. Thank you. Made in Kauai. What's going on? What's going on, Eric? Uh, I appreciate the positivity that you bring to regular, everyday people to start their own business. Greg, that's what I'm trying to do, buddy. Just uh, the world's all about mindset, man. It's all about mindset. So if I can get in the right mindset, I can get other people in the right mindset. And then we can all grow and win together. So that's how I see it. And, and if you guys knew what happened to me literally 10 minutes ago with a follower, um, you would learn how. And I, the reason I can't say it, I had to block him from Facebook. But the reason I can't say it is like I don't, I can't give him any, um, any publicity from it. You know what I mean? Like, but basically, no, nah, I'm not even going to get into it. Cussing me out. Uh, just being, just being so ignorant. It's not even funny, but I, I used to get really frustrated with that. And, um, yeah, it, it, there's just no reason, man. Positivity. It's all about positivity. So Greg, thank you. Um, 
Yep, yep. Crappy weather, crappy weather. You can make money off of Instagram too. Just closed another deal last week. Absolutely. I haven't found it yet, but I'm really focusing right now, if you guys can't tell, on um, on uh, bringing value to people. And uh, yeah, bringing value. I do like to make money whenever it's possible, but and I've really, and I'm not, by the way, mower man, please, I, I just go off into tangents. So don't think that I'm saying this off of your comment. Not at all. Not, not at all. I'm just, uh, in my life, I want to bring value because I know that if I bring more value to people and I do want to make money somehow, it'll just all, it'll all raise and work itself out. So, uh, yeah. Dude, make it happen, make it happen, make it happen. Super pumped. Uh, Randy, how many books do you read, listen to a month, and what type? So audiobooks for entrepreneurs are ridiculous, like amazing, because we just don't have we, we don't have that type of some people could read a book, I guess, during the day like while they're working or whatever, when we're out outside in the dirt, we, we just don't have that opportunity. So audiobooks are your friend, but I, I get a little bored listening to audiobooks. So I listen to a ton of podcasts and I listen to like Gary V's videos are just their video like vlogs but you just learn so much during the way. So I listen to a lot of like Gary V. I listen to a lot of Grant Cardone and I listen to a lot of Dave Ramsey. All three have totally opposite viewpoints on money, on credit, like debt. Um, on literally they have different viewpoints on everything. So I, I listen to all of this and I pick and choose what I think is correct, and I use it in my business. I think I use a lot of what Dave Ramsey says, and there's some stuff that I, you know, I don't really put into my life. You know what I mean? I just I listen to what I can take and choose. Uh, Grant Cardone, very motivating, very good guy. Like I, I like his stuff, but he's a little out there most of the time, and so I pick and choose what I think is correct and what he's saying um, and which is what you should do with everything. Like um, some people say, like if you listen to Tigran Gertz, Tigran, Tigran, I don't know. I met him. I met him at GAE. I forget how he told me to pronounce his name, but you listen to that guy and he is 1 million percent sold on Grant Cardone. Um, like he's like a, a, a little, he's like Grant Cardone's, twin you know like you can't talk them away from debt and um hey that's uh that's it it's working for him but for me i pick and choose from who i listen to you know what i mean uh so boom bada i hope that helps congratulations on your marriage thank you greg please have natalie in your videos i will I will. Um, yeah, she works a lot, especially, I mean, she works during the day and, um, and I make videos during the day, but definitely will sometime. I, I, you know, we started the other channel just like to, to do videos as a couple and, um, our lives <laughs> are a lot more boring now that we have a house and we're married. Like we do, <laughs> laundry and dishes and stuff but you know we'll, we'll definitely we'll definitely try to do some stuff i want to document a lot you know a young relationship so um and, and just how we're dealing with everything like we have a business she has a career um you know just how we it's very it's a, very different from a lot of other 22 year old couples and so I, I definitely do want to get her on here because um, one, being an entrepreneur is a different world, but 
uh, being a young entrepreneur with some level of success and um, a marriage and, and things like that, it's it's very different from the norm. So yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely get her in here. What program do you use to edit your videos? I use iMovie, I'm literally free on um, on the uh, Mac. So you know. That's the, the biggest thing about people that want to start YouTube and things like that. And even myself, I've spent so much money on stupid camera equipment that I never use that's in a closet somewhere. Um, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter, man. It's all about what information you have. You know what I mean? And what you put out there. It really doesn't matter. So yeah, that's what I use on iMovie. I don't know if that's what you're asking, if you should invest in a bunch of fancy stuff, but I don't have anything fancy like that on my computer. It's just a free editing software. So boom. Uh, would you ever get a dump insert for your work truck? Um, I don't know. I haven't done a lot of research on them. I don't know. That, I, I think it'd be really cool. I don't know what the price is in the pricing is Anthony TikTok. What's going on? You should get a dump trailer. That's what a lot of people have been saying, man. A lot of people have been saying that. Uh, so you never know. Just finishing up a late lunch. Now it's time to make more money doing leaves. I wish, I wish I was out doing leaves, man. I uh, wanted to start a business in Texas, but just moved to Phoenix, Arizona. Hardly any grass. Could I still do that? With gravel and trimming bushes, could you still start a business? Absolutely. What, dude? Yeah. I mean, you could start a business doing anything. Like, I I, I think about business opportunities all the time. You know what I want to do one day? Now I'd have to check with DOT and all that crap. But do you know how much money you could make? I saw and I saw it on the Facebook Marketplace. For like a thousand dollars was a huge dumpster. It might have even been cheaper than that. I don't know. Dude, if you could buy a few of those and rent them out to contractors and find a place to dump them or rent them out to homeowners, like find your niche, you can make you could pay that thing off so quickly. You'd have to get a truck and stuff, of course, but dude, that, that's a, there's business ideas everywhere. So you gotta just jump for it, bro. Uh, no offense taken. I try to support and help community as much as I can like you. That's that's what it's about, man. Absolutely. Hit him with the dab. How old are you? Sorry, guys. Anthony, I am 22 years old. You know what I was thinking the other day? I'm going to be 23. And I know a lot of you guys laugh at that because some are older. I'm going to be 23 years old in a couple months. Why is everybody calling me? I don't know why. Sorry, I've got like eight calls from here. I'd be 23 years old. That freaks me out. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm 22 right now. I have a winner mindset. <laughs> Next question. That's all we're talking about today, man. Answering a few questions. I'm going to get off of here in, a, in about five minutes. So, uh, we're going to be hitting these questions. Uh, started. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Started following to learn about landscaping my new home myself, but you're an awesome dude. Thank you, man. I really, really appreciate it. Are you thinking about any big purchases next season? I am not. Um, I, I am going to be stacking up cash um, next season. I'm going to use what I have. The, the, the um, the mowers I've got is is what I'm gonna have, um, unless you know, of course we work with a company. Somebody sends us out uh, equipment. That's that's totally different. But me actually purchasing equipment, I will not be purchasing any equipment next year. Um, it's uh, I have my own opinions on the economy and. I, I don't care what's going to happen. I don't care what the thought most people's thoughts are on what's going to happen, but something is going to happen. And uh, I'm not I'm not like a conspiracy theorist about that stuff. I'm just I know statistically something is going to happen. And so 
you got to be prepared. You can't be living payment to payment each month. Uh, you know, you need to have of what Dave Ramsey says, the padding between you and life. And so that's what 2019 is about profit, about communication, and about building that gap between you and life. So, uh, yeah, it's not fun. It's not exciting, but it's the truth, man. It's the truth. Uh, so let's see here. Oh, okay. I like that. Never stop dating. Don't let work get in the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, what's up, B? Enjoy your channel. I see you address haters a lot. Why? In my No need, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, you know, I do it. Yeah, it's a good question, man. I, <laughs> I don't know. There, there, here's, here's the truth. Two reasons. One, I go through some weird mind swings where sometimes it does like it does mess with me a little bit. And other times, like this month, like dude, I'm I'm good. I'm winner mindset of just and I'm not <laughs> you know, like Charlie Sheen when he fell off the wagon. See, I'm young, but I do my research and I know you know, what happens to successful people, good and bad. Uh, you know, you got to do your research, know, know what to avoid, but I'm not off the rails like that. I just look up, be positive and, and strategize and plan and work hard for the future. That's, that's what I mean by winner mindset. So, um, yeah, I address them. Sometimes it makes me mad, but also, uh, because I want to help no matter if you're making, YouTube videos, your your whatever you're doing in your actual real life when you're at Quick Trip or, or a gas station, not everybody has Quick Trip. When you're at a gas station, you have competitors, somebody's hating on you like all the time, no matter what. So I, I address it most of the time to help people because I know it I know it can mess with you sometimes and I know it can really knock you off your your game a little bit, but that's why I do it. I want to help people out. Tell them, uh, you know, don't worry about it. Like you, you're, you're going to have haters whether you're making YouTube videos or not. You have haters whether you're a business owner or not. Uh, whether you work for somebody or not. It's just that's life, man. It's human nature. Um, so yes. Do you ever subcontract work or hire subcontractors to? No, not eh, sometimes. It depends on the situation. Sometimes. Uh, we've had a couple instances last year or this year, I guess last this summer, the past summer that just happened. Um, we traveled so much for events and things like that. Um, I did have to subcontract out to an, a local guy named Jeremy and, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was just for small things when we were on our honeymoon, I had to subcontract to another local um, snow removal company to get some of my driveways done. And so it just depends, you know, if you're stuck in a situation, you're going to, you know, you need to know people, you know, like sometimes you just have to just to get the accounts done. Um, so that's it. All right. Building wealth is very exciting. Half of all you earn is yours to keep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, Blake, how do you handle collecting from your customers that don't pay or pay on time? Um, I am currently going through that with a few customers. So, yeah. I'm still, uh, we're going to change some things next year, but I am currently going through that with some customers. So I guess since I'm not getting the money from them, I cannot give you any advice on doing it. So uh, I'm going to skip over that comment because 
I am not doing it correctly. <laughs> like I'm not making it happen. I can't give you any advice that that <laughs> that works because it's not working for me. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. We're gonna rapid fire. These are the last few comments here, and I'm clicking off. We're gonna rapid fire through these. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Man, this is boring. All right, buddy. Have a good day. Take it easy. Stay positive. Uh, you don't have to be on here. It's no big deal. Uh, why do you hate the Time Master? Man, I've went through three, four, uh, three or four of them. I don't remember. They just break down. That, that's the only reason. I thought they were good cut quality. Uh, I thought I thought they were good machines. They just they put it out after a season. So that's the only reason I don't advise getting one. Is it just they break down, man? Um, so what up, my man, JC, the lawn care guy. Okay, M. Linton Lawn Service. Thank you, sir. Um, Brian, chill. You need to chill, bro. Have you started any pressure washing services? Not currently. All that happened like what last week? We've literally had snow on the ground ever since, freezing to, you know, under 32 degrees. So definitely not doing anything outside, especially with water. Um, Something is going to happen. I believe you should use what you have. It's old school. LOL. There is nothing wrong with being a conspiracy theorist. I have found most are true. Yep. Yep. <laughs> We're streaming live on the internet, man. They're watching us. <laughs> All right. Jared, you have said a few videos ago, you will be selling some old equipment. What are you selling? So I don't know yet. Sometimes I speak a little too soon, but I I think that I'm just going to be thinning out some of our stuff. Um, probably selling that Encore. Um, maybe a few handheld stuff. Um, you know, so. Yeah, I, I don't know yet, but like I said, I'm going to be trying to keep all the equipment I have and use it and not be not be throwing any more money at equipment. So, are you investing a portion of your profits planning for retirement? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be 100% with you. Uh, Natalie has her has a thing that we contribute to through her company, which is great. Um, for me, this year, I actually have a financial guy that, that you know, helps with all this. And for the, you know, last, this year, I have not been contributing to any of that because we've had so much money going other places. So, Yes, that will be part of my plan for 2019 is investing in, uh, of course, planning for retirement and things like that, but mostly investing at the current, at the moment. So yeah, not in the past year, we, you know, buying a house and, oh my gosh, it's so, it's crazy expensive. Having a wedding and honeymoon, all of that is just mind blowing expensive. It's crazy. And we have been able to do it. Of course, not the house. I have a Morgan stuff, but we've been able to do all of this stuff with zero debt. So I'm very happy and proud of that. And uh, I would take a year off of investing to not live with credit debt or whatever, credit card debt or any any other kinds of debt like that. So I'm very I'm very proud of that. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Factors of positive mindset. Boom. Did you like your black Silverado? Loved it. Great truck. That is why you will. You, you don't hear me. I some. I might j joke with somebody about Ford, Chevy, all that. I really have no opinion. My first car was a Ford. Went perfect. My second vehicle was a GMC. It was perfect. My Third vehicle was a Chevy. It was perfect. My fourth vehicle was a Ford. It's perfect. 
my fifth vehicle is still like, you know, I have two Fords at the moment, you know, and Natalie has a Chevy. Like, uh, I, I literally, I haven't had problems with any brand of truck. So I really like them all. Um, thank you for doing the live broadcast. Never mind the trolls. We appreciate it. Hashtag positive mindset. I like it. Uh, is that caffeine free Pepsi? LOL. I didn't think they sold that anymore. That my friend is a caffeine free Pepsi. You know what? I was in the store the other day and by the way, we're, we're, we're ending this at 35 minutes. What did I not answer the question on? Hold on. I guess I missed the question. I didn't see a question from you, buddy. Uh, da, da, da. Shoot me the question again. Sorry, I did not. I didn't. I didn't see the question, so I saw, I'm sorry I missed it. But yes, I am allergic to caffeine, and uh, I was walking through the store and I saw, um, I saw a caffeine-free Pepsi, and I got it because I really miss. Oh, factors. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I thought you were just saying like positive mindset. Factors of positive mindset. Please explain the question, buddy. Like what are some factors of a positive mindset? Um, factors of a winner mindset. Just like being – look at Elon Musk. He believed in himself – way before people even knew it was possible. So instead of listening to people in the boardroom, let, let, let's take a boardroom scenario and Elon Musk is there. Guys, I'm, I'm willing to put a hundred million bucks into this, but we need to have the rockets come back from orbit, back down to earth and land on a 10 by 10 square. And, and, and the NASA people are like sitting back drinking their coffee like it can't be done buddy it cannot be done and elon musk is like all right cool well i'll see you guys in five years i am going to start my own bu space business and we're gonna make this happen that's a winner right there buddy that is a winner mindset it just positive believing in yourself passionate that's my. That, those are some of my factors, but I'll have to come up with a full-on list. Uh, full. I said I was reading Musk and List at the same time. Um, okay, so yes, Pepsi. I have to drink caffeine-free. I cannot have. I cannot have a normal Pepsi. I literally will. My heart will hurt for four or five days if I drink a normal Pepsi. But I have to tell you. Coca-Cola is the best tasting soda, period. I don't care what anybody says. All right. Great looking Raptor. Does it get about six to seven miles per gallon? It actually right now, since I'm not driving a trailer in the past couple months with the Raptor, I, I pull it with the F-250. It gets about 10.5 miles a gallon. So, <laughs> yeah. The, the work truck gets about – the work truck's about six and a half to seven. No, nah, I think it's about six and a half, the, the, F2, the F-250 is. So uh, Yeah, okay. Uh, we are the same age, Anthony. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Winter mindset, risking and believing. Exactly. But he gets a lot of government subsidies and everything he has done has fallen through. Well, at least pretty much everything. Greg, that is the exact point. That is my exact point. Look, there is so much hate and, and, and so much, so many failures that Elon Musk has had. That's the main thing. Every time he fails, it's just like he treats it as a learning moment which is exactly what you need to do. So yes, he's had a lot of failures, but he keep, he keeps on pushing and has a lot of successes. So dude, I'm telling you what, that's, that is awesome. So yes, he's totally willing, sorry, 
Yeah, money is is the last thing he's thinking about. He's thinking about accomplishments. That's that's exactly right. Um, yep, 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 yep. I love all of these comments, dude. Um, love you, brother. Hey, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yes, in the whole, I watched a video today because I was on that space thing uh, about the whole government money and, and do some research on it. I, I forget the guy's name. He used to work at NASA. He's Mark Rober, I think is the guy's name. He's got a pretty big channel and some really good videos, but he used to work at NASA and he was explaining the whole NASA budget and the money that comes from the government and the benefits of that. So yeah, you know, to be honest with you, Greg, and all of you guys, I don't care in Elon Musk's Elon Musk's situation. I don't care where the money comes from. It's still, I don't know. He's still awesome, dude. He's a beast. You know, I, I like I said, he he doesn't care about money, but he realized you need money to do these things. Like I, I think it, the um, the Falcon Nine was a ninety eight million dollar. Um, cost $98 million to build it and launch it, which is a lot of money. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speaking now. Uh, let's see. Nope. Diet Dr. Pepper is the winner. That's not true. I hate Dr. Pepper. Uh, to get some Pepsi. Dude, Pepsi, where's my check, man? Uh, see you later. Thanks for the video. We'll see you next time, buddy. Do you fill your skags with 93 premium? I do not. Unleaded. I don't know if that's bad, but uh, that's what I do. My 350 gets 12 miles a gallon. This stream made me feel good again. <laughs> Boom. That's all it takes, man. That is what it's about. And that's uh, nothing ventured, nothing earned. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I am signing off. How many miles are on the Raptor? I think so. 70,000, I think right around 70,000. So uh, anyways, guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. Let me know by leaving a like if you enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people don't do it, but it really does just give me a gauge for what people like. So uh, anyways, hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. I mean, like literally in, in probably two hours. <laughs> so hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.